Hello everyone, this is a psychic prediction video for the future of humanity and where we are all headed as a collective. This is also somewhat of a timeline for all of the future events that have come to me in my previous psychic prediction videos where I am putting them all together to make just one big video with all of the different things so that it's not split up throughout all the different videos that I've made in the past. So getting straight to the point, <clears throat> a lot of people are worried about World War III and um, the implications of different countries getting involved in the war with Russia and Ukraine. So since before Russia has invaded Ukraine, I've been saying that um, what I was seeing was the United States becoming involved in some sort of war. This is before 2022, I was even saying that I was seeing the United States getting involved in some sort of war um, in 2022 specifically, where they're not directly involved in the fighting, but they're somehow involved in the battle. And that's exactly what's happened now with sanctions and um, kind of more like a Cold War economic battle rather than a hot war with troops being sent um, to Ukraine, with U.S. troops that would be. And um, so that's what I was seeing before the war broke out. And I'm continuing to see that being the case where it doesn't seem that we are going to have a lot of these doomsday expectations that you may be hearing from other people. That's just not what I'm seeing. Um, so I don't think that there's going to be a massive World War III. And, um, you know, ever since the nuclear situation came to be on people's minds as a threat, I've also been saying that I don't see that happening. Um, it hasn't happened yet, and I continue to not see that being an issue. Now, I've heard people in the past talking about how that's going to happen, and um, you know, I'm 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 not seeing that myself. So um, that's just where I stand, and I continue to believe that. So. I'm not expecting there to be any nukes um, going off as far as like a nuclear Armageddon. I just don't see that being the future, not the timeline that we are on, at least. So um, with Ukraine now going way back to before it happened again, what I was seeing was um, Russia invading slowly taking over parts of Ukraine not doing it very fast you know when it first started everybody thought oh Russia's gonna just knock them out in like a couple days or Russia's not gonna have a chance and it was like the whole time I've been saying the same thing which is that Russia is going to slowly take land and they're going to slowly increase and increase and the borders are going to shift and Russia is going to gain land and that's what we've been seeing so far um, and that's what I continue to see happening for the next couple years or so now. <clears throat> now I've been saying this for about a year and it's been happening, but I'm continuing to see this. It's currently 2023, so I'm expecting this war to go on for another couple years at least. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I saw in the past, which I actually predicted the Nord Stream pipeline before it blew up, in the ocean. I didn't specifically say that it was going to be a pipeline under the ocean, but I did say that it was something that had to do with trade, and that would be the oil, obviously, but also that it was going to blow up in the ocean um, to the south of um, Sweden or Finland. I can't remember which country it was that I was. I was doing a reading on a specific country. Uh, for a future prediction for that country, and it was either Sweden or Finland. But 
uh, either way, I was saying that to the south in the ocean there was going to be an explosion that, ha that had to do with the war with Ukraine, but that it, it um, wasn't going to result in the uh, in catastrophe of the country or anything um, too bad. And so that's what we've seen now. <clears throat> and so that has come and passed. So I don't see um, too much more going on there. Again, the whole wor World War Three thing, um, not too much of concern for me. Although I do see the future of Ukraine not being too great. Um, I do see it becoming a battle, well, sorry, a, a wasteland, it already is a battlefield, but a wasteland, where it just seems like the Ukrainian government basically just crumbles, and it's kind of eventually just lots of different groups that are not necessarily the Ukrainian government themselves, but that can be fighting for the cause of Ukraine, or at least just fighting to fight the Russians. And so I wouldn't say that Russia necessarily wins either, because it doesn't look like Russia fully takes all of Ukraine, um, but it's more like occupying a wasteland of chaos. And so it doesn't seem like they really settle into that area as Russia, I mean, maybe way far out, but I'm, you know, in the next couple of years or so, I don't see that happening. Maybe far in the future, I'm not sure. I haven't really bothered to look into that quite yet, but I do see um, lots of um, changes going on. Russia is, is weakening, but also gaining strength in other ways with the assistance of other countries, which we've already started to see that start to happen with um, some of the countries to the south of Ukraine and Russia, which I've said in the past, and um, we've started to see that start to play out already. <clears throat> so who is going to win, Ukraine or Russia? Not really either, but I would say if one was to be said to be the winner it would be Russia but um, it's still like not really a winning situation overall for either of them <clears throat> so you know so far what I've said is mostly just repeating information that I've already said in other videos so um, you can also search my channel and find more information about these in more detail if you are interested in that. With that said, if you appreciate this work, I always appreciate thumbs up. So give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate this type of work and the um, information I am putting out there for free. Um, moving on to Putin and Zelensky, I, you know, from way back, I remember people making predictions that Putin was going to be assassinated. And same with Zelensky, that he was going to be killed. And I've been saying the whole time, I don't see Putin being assassinated. Um, I see there being attempts on his life. Um, same with Zelensky, I actually see Zelensky most likely fleeing uh, Ukraine <clears throat> at some point and um, going into other countries to the, I just get the sense that it's going to be the northwest section of Ukraine, and that could be northwest far away or nearby. I'm not really sure. That's just the sense that I get for now. So, um, yeah, I don't see that them being assassinated. China, so China is a major threat at least in people's minds <clears throat> and just like the World War three and the nuclear issue people have some idea that China could potentially invade the United States take over the United States or be at war with the United States etc cetera, etc cetera. and when I tune into the future of China, I don't particularly see that. I actually see them doing a different strategy here. 
which is more like a slow kill, if you want to call it that, which is more waging an economic battle rather than a military battle with actual troops. And so this is more of an economic strategy, and I do see this um, working out for them to some extent. I don't see them you know, dominating the world. Um, however, it does seem that they take a lot of power from the United States in particular. I can't remember the years I've said in previous videos the uh, timeline of when I believe that's going to happen. I can't remember at the moment. But um, regardless, this is nothing too extreme. I don't see the United States disappearing off the the world map or whatever, as some people have predicted. <clears throat> and um, that kind of leads me to the next thing, which is the um, the economy and the timeline. Well, let's talk about the economy first. So the economy, I'm not really seeing it getting that bad until around 2024, where things become a little more difficult life may become more rough in 2024 but then in 2025 it seems like things start really improving kind of like there's a shift taking place and so around 2026 2027 that's when the economy is more stabilized like 2024 destabilization 2025 things start shifting around and it's kind of like a new system 2026 things get more set in place and start to stabilize and then it seems to be more stable from there and with that I want to talk about what I've been saying ever since 2020 I started making videos in 2020 <clears throat> around the time coronavirus happened before um, like right around, I think it was before Black Lives Matter started, actually, that I started making videos. And um, this was before inflation started or anything like that. And what I was saying back then is that there's a massive shift taking place. And this is within the monetary system where money is changing. I At one point, I even said that the U.S. dollar may um, be replaced by something else and we haven't quite seen that but we have actually already seen that the world reserve currency is becoming less and less US dollar based and uh, more onto other currencies so that we're already starting to see but I can but I do see um, this continuing to switch over to just like a whole new monetary system basically um, <clears throat> and this is complex to talk about because there's politics involved but there's also a spiritual awakening involved as well that are both happening at the same time so you could say there's a political agenda involved in it there's things like the Great Reset, the World Economic Forum, things of that nature that are pushing for things to happen in a certain way, yes. But then there's also the frequency of the planet shifting, the awareness, the awakening of people, and a shift in reality as... Um, as crazy as that may sound, just the the overall vibration of the planet is shifting to a degree where things are forced to change and certain ways of being, certain types of corruption are no longer able to continue on and so a lot of the um, things that have been hidden are becoming more visible um, so um, I'll get more into that later, but my point is that there's a shift from 2020 to 2026. That's those. That's the 
the time that I've been saying for a while now, although I will admit that it's not quite that cut and dry. You could say it's actually been going on before 2020 and it's going to go on after 2026, 20, 27, etc. This is just the frequency shifting. This is the Earth updating itself, humanity awakening. And so 2025 is going to be an interesting year where things radically shift. There will be agendas being played out. There will be some people um, trying to take advantage of these changes in a way where they can um, control the masses through technology or whatever. But there's also going to be a unification of the human spirit. And so a lot of the idea of centralized power being bad is um, confusing because centralized power can be bad under the control of tyranny. But at the same time, there's this this awakening of people coming together to cooperate and unify more. And there's this confusion of those two things happening at the same time. So it's really hard to talk about. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that because I think that's the most important aspect that people need to understand about this situation and how things are unfolding. So the next thing I want to talk about is Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin I'm seeing also correlating with this year 2025. I've been saying that for a while now that 2025 is where I see it going up pretty good. Um, you know, I don't I don't particularly necessarily see it going to 100k, but you know, maybe 80k, something like that. Um, and then it seems to this is more towards the end of 2025, I'm thinking, and early 2026. But then um, it may come back down a little bit. Until 2028, 2029, those seem to be the years where they go up even higher. And this is where I'm seeing Bitcoin reaching like 100K types of levels around 2028, 2029. And um, after that, it kind of seems to go down a little bit. Um, I'm going to talk more about the details of crypto on my Patreon page. You can always join that if you want. So um, moving on to, well, what's left here? Well, aliens, um, <laughs> I guess. Well, not just that, but information being leaked with the, the uniting of humanity, um, the shift in consciousness that is taking place on the planet energetically. Some people talk about this as going into 4D or 5D, How, whatever words you want to throw at it. I just call it a shifting of the frequencies or shifting in energy. Um, regardless, a lot of the old ways are no longer compatible. And so a lot of the secrets that have been kept secret are being exposed because they have to be. Um, and a lot of the people keeping these secrets are being forced to um, figure out some sort of plan to make the best of the situation that they know um, isn't necessarily going to go the way that they would have preferred. Um, one of these things that are going to be exposed more that you've already probably been aware of is, well, UFOs. Of course, they're trying to spin this in a different way where it's not just like aliens, but it, it's like a slow process to build people up to, to accept it in a way where people don't just immediately flip out and turn against um, people who have been lying about it. So basically what's going to happen is, you know, I've been saying like last year's prediction, I said that um, it seemed like there was something with 
Joe Biden and aliens and like not necessarily telling the public but like something going on about that and him thinking about like oh are the, is this something that I need to tell people about like how do, how do I proceed from here <clears throat> and it seems as if this is becoming something that is being released slowly and um, it's positive there are positive ETs there are negative ETs just like there are positive people negative people there are good people that do bad things there are bad people that do good things so it's complex and to just make a blanket statement is you know it's it's a blanket statement so um but overall i would say humanity in general is usually cooperative and generally um you can get along with people that you randomly run into so you're hiking on a trail and you run into someone they're usually going to be positive so these um, aliens will become more and more popular to accept as normal. I'm seeing this being around 2025, 2026 seems to be around the time that this happens. I do see this being a positive thing, but there's going to be lots of spin on it that makes it sound more negative than it is and more confusing than it is um, and there will also be a lot more technology um, being released prior to that as well um, the other thing that I would like to say is that far off into the future this was um, a reading I did on like something way far in the future someone asked me to do a reading on and what I was seeing was a extraterrestrial ambassador from another galaxy no, solar system I don't know another planet I'll just say that another planet um, working with the world governments and um, helping assist humanity so I do see um, this being a very positive development for humanity long term so um, I also make monthly psychic prediction videos where before the next month starts, ideally, unless I'm late, I will make a prediction for what comes up that month. So you can always check those videos out if you want from the past just to see kind of how accurate I am, I suppose. Or you can um, subscribe to the channel and that way you will be able to see what I'm projecting for the next month, whatever month that may be, wherever we are in time. And um, it's totally free. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. If you do, make sure to click the notification bell and then hover over it and make sure to click it to all notifications because it won't automatically go to all notifications and then YouTube is less likely to notify you about all of the videos that I post but if you click it to all then it will be more likely to show you the um, the monthly prediction videos although even then sometimes YouTube doesn't always show it. Um, besides for that give this video a thumbs up if you're still watching it thank you for watching and have a great day.